Hey guys, this is Nova One Winged Angel here, and right now I'm doing something a little different. Um, I'm doing a first look and not an unboxing. The reason why I didn't unboxing is because pretty much I was like, I got the item right, and I totally had like a blonde moment. Or if you guys don't like stereotypes, I had a moment of cognitive inability. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so I had a moment of cognitive inability, and um, that's what I call it. And um, and then I was just like, oops. It was too late. The package was already opened um, because I just could not contain the excitement and curiosity that came from this specific item that I bought. And what I bought is actually a little bit lower. If I can move this camera. There you go. Um, let's focus on the actual item itself. And that's going to be this keyboard um, for the iPad. Um, this, this thing works for the iPad um, 2, 3, and 4. I happen to have the iPad 3. So that's what I'm using it for, and it's a Bluetooth enabled keyboard. Um, the actual name escapes me. Let me look for the package right quick. Uh, here it is. It's called the Logitech Ultra Thin Keyboard Cover. And if you guys want to see the box, there it is, and that's where it's called. And I got it brand new for like 50 bucks. So the reason why I got it was because um, I wanted to uh, get something to make me more productive with the iPad when it came down to school. I didn't really want to invest in a laptop because. I would want to get a gaming laptop, and it's really expensive, and I already have, like, a beast gaming PC, liquid cooled, and all that good stuff, and, um, I really don't want to waste that kind of money when I could just invest it in my actual PC, so I was like, what the hey, I already got this iPad, let me just take advantage of it, and attach a keyboard to it to make me more productive, and, um, the iPad has a lot of the good apps that I need for school and stuff, so, um, it's worth it, you know, so I bought the keyboard, and then... I'm like, yeah, hopefully I'm able to type in it. But as you can see in the background, I don't know if you can see too well, but let me light it up so you can see. I'm used to the um, Corsair K95 keyboard. So going from something that huge and monstrous to something so small as this keyboard, let me turn it on not to distract you guys. There you go. To go on something so monstrous, uh, something so small and slim like this keyboard, and it's not even you know no Cherry MX or anything like that. Obviously, um, it's membrane. But yeah, going something that small is a challenge, and a challenge that um. I'm ready to take on. I was actually typing earlier, and um, and the typing was pretty cool. Uh, I did a lot of mistakes, but that's to be expected. I mean, that, that happened with a Candy Five too. When I had a membrane keyboard, and I had it for a couple years, and then um, I switched to this gaming keyboard, and I was like, oh snap! Like you know, I kept messing up, but now I can like you know just do whatever I do without even looking at it. So yeah, but let me show you some of the. Let me practice a little for you guys because obviously you guys want to see it in action. Um, you know, let's just get rid of that. And let's see here. Um, okay, quick office. There we go. I had to type something up there. Um, okay, there we go. And then obviously I gotta turn it on. I will show you guys how to do that, but for right now, I just kind of want to do this on my um, on the fly. And it should auto sync. There you go. I think it turns blue. It's no, it's just a Bluetooth thing. Um, did I get it? Oh, right, my Bluetooth is not on. Oops. So let me hit the home button. Sorry about that, guys. These are things that actually occur. And let me hit it again. And then settings. Bluetooth on. Alright, and it should automatically sync into there. Hopefully. Um, Alright, so whatever. Let me just see if it works now. Mm. All right, I got it. All right, so um, it's a lot simpler than that. It's just I didn't turn it on, and the, if the Bluetooth is on the iPad, everything is smooth. But you know, if it's not on, then the keyboard obviously can connect. So yeah, don't just don't let that reflect on the keyboard. So um, let's see here. Um, so obviously, some of the classic shortcuts work, such as um, Shift and whatever side you want. So Shift and see, then I can obviously go up and then highlight everything. And then, obviously, I can delete whatever text is on there. Oops, I just noticed that you guys can't really see what I'm doing. Let me just put the camera up a little bit. Uh, at least you didn't miss too much. But now here comes the practice. Um, let me type uh, um, this keyboard. Okay. Eh, board is really oops thin. And cool looking. Bam. 
And um, I did a couple of mistakes, as you guys heard me delete, maybe or not. But pretty much I got it on there pretty quickly. Um, definitely a lot better than holding the iPad and using the keyboard that's on the screen itself. So, um, yeah. And, um, and yeah, so I got it. And like I said, I was showing earlier, I did the whole shift and then go to the side thing. And it highlights everything. Obviously, there's other ways I could take advantage of the features in the keyboard. I just haven't really discovered anything yet. Um, I just, you know, just typing it pretty much it. And then there's caps lock, so I can do caps lock, F, G, H, I, J, K, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. And see, now you can all your ABCs. No, but, um, but yeah, so pretty much, uh, there's this lag though when you actually use a keyboard itself. It's not as instantaneous as like a PC. You know, it has a lag. There's like this delay, and it's kind of annoying, especially when I, you know, I'm used to the high responses. But I'm um, pretty much it has not gotten to the in the way of me processing anything that I want to type up. As long as that doesn't happen, like say I press R clearly and it doesn't show R, that that is gonna be a problem if it does that. But it has not so far, so I don't expect there to be any problems. So yeah. There goes that, and um, so that's the keyboard itself, and then, don't save, okay, so, whatever, has some of my information on there, um, but yeah, so, um, so yeah, that's what it is when it comes down to that, and uh, pretty much, um, that's all about the keyboard that I really have knowledge of right now, so let me show you the actual interface of the keyboard, so let me just take off the iPad first, and then, throwing it over into my bed, and here's the, the keyboard itself. You guys want to take a better look at it. Um, so I've been having it for a couple of days already. I just got now. Um, I got some time to do the unboxing pre um, before my workout. So there it is. Um, it looks cool. It's small. As you can see, my um, iPad to hand comparison. Um, this is my hand. I'm not even trying to extend it. It's pretty small. It's obviously as big as this iPad screen. So it's not big at all. Um, and, uh, yeah, so it's Bluetooth enabled, it has a rechargeable battery integrated, which is amazing. Um, and then let's check the interface, it's right here. Um, oops, sorry about that, there you go. And as, I don't know if you can see it, but in the, before you hit the micro USB, you see the little switch right there, I'm trying to focus on it right now. There you go, that's the switch. When it's green, look, it's green right now, that means it's on. And you can switch it to the other side and it'll show red and it'll turn it off and... I'll do that right now. There it is. And now it looks red if you can see. Oops. Mm, focus was bad. Bad. What the heck is going on? There you go. Now it's red. So yeah. And next to that, to the left, or whatever, the little button is a Bluetooth button to obviously pair it. And next to that is a micro USB. And that's obviously the same cable you would use on Galaxy S3, S4, HTC One, things such as that. So you can charge it that way. And that's how you charge it. And it says that the full battery lasts six months without needing a charge. So that's spectacular, especially for someone that's always on the go and they can't always remember to charge your devices or doesn't really have the time to do so. You know, really quick charge. You could probably charge it for like 30 minutes. It'll probably last you for like for a week. So, um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. And um, I don't know how long the charge takes for a full empty battery to full battery, but I'm sure it's not that long. And um, let's look at the other side of the thing itself. It's pretty simple. It has Logitech on there, but pretty much, you know, whatever block keyboard it tries with the little like aluminum feel you know what I mean but it's not that good I don't think it doesn't feel like the iPad the iPad is obviously sturdier this just kind of feels like something that tries but doesn't really succeed but it's still cool you know um, I don't really care about it like in that side I just kind of want to protect the screen of the iPad as I want for and I actually want to and will get a screen protector for my iPad to reinforce the protection because I want the back of the iPad Whereas the little apples at and the front to be protected because the device can resale, resell for a high price, but you have to take care of it or else the price tanks because people like, like their per, perfect items. And yeah, so now I'm going to show you how this thing actually closes on the iPad. So as you can see, there's a little hinge right here, right? That snaps onto the iPad and therefore closes on it so you can just take it a go. So let me get the old trusty iPad back and just kind of drop it. Ah, no, 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 drop it in there. No, come on. All right, there you go. I think this is the right side. Not sure. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it is. There you go. So, um, you see this? It snaps. 
This is the magnetized side, so then you open it like a book. There we go, and then bam. See, it opens like a book, then you just take it off, whatever, and then slide it right there. And now you have your portable, kind of semi, half laptop, half iPad, ready to go. Or a full iPad, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, it's an iPad, and it has Wi-Fi, so then you pretty much just do whatever you want, and then bam, it's there. And let's turn it back on. Bluetooth is already enabled, right? Yeah. So I'm just going to turn it back on, right? Let's give it some time. All right, and now let's see if it works. Let's hit the home button. See, bam, it works. It's instantaneous. Actually, let me do that again. Let's do it again to see how long it takes. All right, let's see. So there's a little light that turns on right here. You can, you can see it there. So now, uh, there, see? It works that fast. So it just takes that brief moment. If, you're, if your Bluetooth is enabled on the iPad, it just takes that brief moment. Again, let's do it again. Bam. And then, there we go. See? Once the light goes away, which is kind of like a second, like literally a second, it's gone and you already prepared this, it just works that fast. So if you need to like instantaneously, like say you're late for class, you need to get on it like right away, the iPad obviously turns on faster than most of your laptops. And also, you could just turn on your keyboard that quickly, you know what I mean? Well, the iPad is booting up and bam, you're ready to go, you know, and you can like try to make up that lecture or hit a record button on the iPad or, you know, for video record or lecture or whatever to try to get those words in so you can put them in your notes later. And you could even use your note app right here. I have Pen Ultimate also, so it works very well with me, so I can just type in whatever, like, um, like, moon. You know what I mean? And then put, you know, facts about the moon, like gravitational force and blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't think there's actually a key for, uh, for a um, bullet point, but I'm sure I could put a bullet point there somehow, maybe. Or maybe I can even put an asterisk star thing. See, something like that, and then it's white. And then it doesn't reflect its own light. Whatever, blah. So that's pretty much how it works. And then once you're done with whatever you're doing, you can just go ahead and go home button. And then go to the next app or whatever you want to do. And yeah, that's how it works. So um, what else comes in this box, actually? Um, well, it's kind of a lengthy video. I'm surprised it went this far. <laughs> Let me just get this stuff over here. All right, what also came in this box was this uh, Logitech Quick Start Guide. Um, so yeah, that's in case you don't know how to handle it, you know, like all the things I told you about. And there's that. And then you have this very important information. Actually, it comes with a free check-in set. No, it doesn't come with anything, really. I didn't even bother opening it. Maybe it does come with a free check, right? Missing out on money. But, um, yeah. And also, more importantly, beyond all that, it came with this amazing cleaning cloth. No, actually, it's not amazing. Um, I buy sunglasses, so I know when something feels quality. And this doesn't really feel quality, but it gets the job done. So it's black, you know, pretty good. So clean that screen, you know. It does what it has to, but definitely could be a higher quality cloth. And yeah, so then we also have this charging cable, which you can see I have not used. Um, this charging cable is micro USB, um, but I do have a headset charger, which is the same interface, so I can just plug that in and I don't have to use this one. But it is white, so it is pretty cool looking, but eh, I don't really feel like having more cables than I really need. So let's toss that over there. And um, yeah. So that's all I have to show you guys for this ultra thin uh, keyboard cover. Um, so yeah, guys, if you're looking for something that has really like great portability, you don't want to carry more wind than you have to, and you don't really um, fear too much for your iPad security, get this keyboard. If you want a keyboard that's there to protect your iPad and give you what you need when it comes down to productivity, don't get this one. Get something a little bit bigger and a little bit more... Um, and all encompassing when it comes down to the iPad because honestly this thing is not good for protection and if if I was to drop my iPad with this thing on I would just assume it's broken because it's really thin so it's not it has no shock absorption thing or anything like that this is pretty much for the person that you know what it won't drop their iPad and you know doesn't really care if it's scuffed up and um but if you do want to get this and you want to get some if you don't drop your iPad you know, because I'm not, I don't drop my devices, phone, iPad, whatever. I don't care what it is. I don't drop my calculator. I don't drop anything. So, um, uh, yeah, so, um, this is good for me. You know, next thing you know, I drop it. Like, oh my God, guys, no. But, um, but yeah, so, yeah, that's good for me. But if you drop things, you know, if you're a constant dropper, you know, I don't know why, how you could possibly drop an iPad. You got to be doing some crazy shit. But, um, but yeah, if you didn't get an otter box. I had an, I have an otter box. I took it off the iPad. I got tired of it. 
And, um, and yeah, like, you know, it's cool, you know, whatever. I, I should buy fear for it still, so I'll definitely get something for the back so it won't get scuffed up. And definitely get a screen protector to make sure that it's reinforced somehow. Because it's the everyday wear and tear that could really take a toll on my iPad. Not so much the big, huge drop to the floor from whatever. Or a coffee spilling all over it. You know, nothing, nothing like that. It's pretty much just the everyday wear and tear that I'm scared of. So definitely before the semester begins, I'm going to be getting something to protect the back and the front. And if you're looking for, for, if you're like me and you protect yourself very well, you should get the same thing. Get something for the back, like a sticker cover or something just to protect from the scratches and get a screen protector for the front and you'll be golden. Screen protectors are like, well, like a dollar, 50 cents or something. They're really cheap on eBay, so get something like that. And, um, yeah, that's what I'm going for. So, yeah, guys, it's been Nova Bowman Angel here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit longer than most of my videos, but still pretty informative. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm out for now.